In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating reaction entropy using standard molar entropies of reactants. In this problem, you're going to be given a chemical reaction and you're going to be asked to calculate the standard reaction entropy, the entropy of the reaction. So it's asking you to calculate delta S standard. The equation that we're going to use to do this calculation is Hess's law. Just kind of in a nutshell, Hess's law is taking the entropy of our products and from that subtracting the entropy of our reactants. And when we do this, we are going to be multiplying the entropy of each product by its stoichiometric coefficient. So for this particular chemical reaction specifically, our products are NO and Cl2. NO has a stoichiometric coefficient of two. So we're gonna take two times the entropy of the NO we want to make sure we get NO gas, and we're going to add that to the entropy of Cl2. There's only one Cl2 in this reaction, so we don't need to multiply to, uh, delta S for Cl2, which is also a gas, and that collectively is the entropy of our products. And then from that, we're going to subtract the entropy of our reactants. We have two uh, of our reactant, NOCl. So the last thing we need to actually solve this problem is the values of the entropy for our reactants and our products. And we're gonna get that from the Alex data table, which is right over here. So I'm actually gonna go back to the website and I'm gonna show you how to find this data. When you are in the data and formulas, um, you're going to scroll down to the thermodynamic properties of pure substances and open that up. And then you'll see in this data table, you have values of delta H, delta G, and S. And so that's what we're gonna be looking for. We wanna find all of the three molecules and copy their delta S. I keep saying delta S, but it's not a delta, it's just S. Copy their S values down. So the first one that I've got here is chlorine. Its S value is 223.1. And then what else did we have in this reaction? NO and NOCl2. These are alphabetized by the first atom in the formula usually. So for NO, we wanna make sure we're getting the right molecule. NO is 210.8. And remember our S values are all the way in the very right hand column. And then our product or our reactant, NOCl, that one is 200 and 61.7. So we're gonna take these values back to this equation that we have created, and we're gonna plug them in. And I have to fix this. I've gotta take these deltas out because this is not a delta. Those aren't deltas. All right, so um, we came up with our value of entropy for NO. That was 210.8. These units are um, kilo or joules per mole Kelvin. I'm gonna leave the units off. And then our entropy value for Cl2 was 223.1. And those are our products. And then we're gonna subtract our reactant two times the entropy for NOCl, which is 261.7. So now we're just gonna break out the calculator and we're gonna do the math on this. Two times 210.8. And we're gonna add that to 223.1, and then we're gonna subtract two times 261.7. And this gives us gives me 121.3. It says to round to zero decimal places, so we're gonna call this 121 joules per Kelvin.